The average person in Mississippi is 25% richer today than they were in 2017. In just five years, the per capita income in our state went from $36,902 to $46,248. Those dollar amounts are in constant 2022 dollars. In other words, even allowing for inflation, Mississippians are a quarter richer now than they were only five years ago. Does it surprise you that Mississippi is actually doing well? For as long as anyone can remember, Mississippi has been beaten into believing that we are bottom of the class, with the lowest income and slowest growth. Between 1959 and 2022, Mississippi was the second fastest growing state in America, with an average annual growth of 2.61 per year. Pretty impressive. It would have been a lot more impressive if it was not for the period between 1980 and 2010. Mississippi had three decades of sluggish growth because our state had bad public policies in place. Bad public policy number one was too much government. For much of the period between 1980 to 2010, Mississippi was a one-party Democrat fiefdom. The size of government ballooned. Bad public policy number two was that our public payroll was too big. More and more people were hired to work at public expense crowding out the private sector. Bad public policy number three was that our taxes were too high. With too much government and too many people living at public expense, taxes rose relative to those in other states. Bad public policy number four was our dependence on Washington. If handouts from the federal government made a state rich, Mississippi would be the richest state in America. They don't. And bad public policy number five was too much regulation. One of the legacies of a one-party rule in our state is that you need permits and approval for far too many things. After decades of bad public policy, Mississippi is starting to grow rapidly again. Why? Because bad public policy is being replaced by good public policy. In the past few years, for example, Mississippi has significantly cut the tax burden, notably slashing the state income tax to a flat 4%. In 2021, there was an important move made to deregulate the labor market with a universal occupational licensing law. As a direct consequence of this, not only is our per capita income in our state rising, but we are growing faster relative to other states. Having been one of the slower growing states since the 1980s, between 2020 and 2022, Mississippi was the 15th fastest growing state in America. Just imagine what our state might achieve if we were to build on these public policy improvements and completely eliminate the income tax. What if we repealed some of the so-called con laws that inflate the cost of health care in our state and made Mississippi a less costly place for employers to hire? Mississippi needs leaders prepared to build on the impressive reforms of the past few years, which are already having a significant impact, improving our state. We need leaders who believe that with good public policy, Mississippi can be equal to any state. It is good public policy, not federal handouts, that will decide if we prosper.